Hello, dear friends. Another weekend full of news. Current events displays reflection. Opinion piece. Soul demonstration. Functioning of consciousness. Arizona and Oxford scientists. Secrets of postmortem existence. Quantum nature of consciousness. Orchestrated objective reduction. Also, the Max Planck Institute in Munich. A strong solar storm hit yesterday, Friday. Let's start. Quantum physics has shown that the soul continues to exist after the death of the body. A group of scientists from the University of Arizona, together with colleagues from the UK, conducted the study of human consciousness at the quantum level and came to the conclusion that the soul continues to exist after the death of the body. The soul is the spiritual and immortal substance of all sentient beings. Experts in the field of quantum mechanics maintain that consciousness can persist even after the body decays, based on an analysis of scientific theories. This discovery answers the question of the eternal continuation of the soul's existence and confirms that it continues to function at a quantum level even after physical death. Scientific communities, based on the data from this research, have recognized that the soul survives the death of the body and continues to exist at a quantum level. However, there is still no specific definition of consciousness. British physicists suggest that information about consciousness can be stored at the quantum level and call this process orchestrated objective reduction. Scientists suggest that information about consciousness is stored in protein microtubules, which are likely distributed throughout the universe after death. Thus, life after death receives a scientific basis, and cases of resuscitation can confirm the return of the soul with certain, certain memories. Orchestrated objective reduction is a theory of brain functioning and consciousness proposed by physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff. This theory suggests that consciousness originated, originates within neurons and not from the connection between them. It proposes that consciousness arises from quantum phenomena such as entanglement and quantum tunneling, which occur at the subatomic level within neurons governed by geometric logic, and that the brain is organized into waves with a donut-like toroidal structure. Scientists at the Max Planck Institute in Munich also support this position, arguing that after death, a human being can face infinity. The main objective of their research is to understand the functioning of human consciousness. Investigation. Oxford scientists also surprised the world when they said where the soul goes after the death of the body. British researchers have discovered where the human soul goes after separating from the body. During his research, it was discovered that the soul retains its vitality even after physical death. Oxford University experts, anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff, a mathematical physicist, Roger Penrose, came to the conclusion that the soul, upon leaving the body, passes into some aspect of the universe. His research on the quantum theory of consciousness demonstrates that the soul does not disappear after the death of the body. Scientists suggest that the brain can be considered as a kind of biological computer that functions under the control of consciousness. And even if the body dies, consciousness itself continues to exist. According to research, the information accumulated throughout life is stored in some form in the universe. When experiencing clinical death, this data may return. Scientists explain the existence of the soul by considering it as something that exists on the level of another reality. However, at the moment, Science doesn't have sufficient or enough knowledge or technology to fully study this phenomenon. 
the development of quantum technologies may affect the situation in the future. Science. Strong solar storm. The Earth's magnetic field was reverberated yesterday Friday by a solar impact, which produced an unexpectedly strong geomagnetic storm. The storm intensified rapidly and reached level G3 at 7 p.m. This brief but intense event produced red auroras in mid-latitudes. Dubai and the water suffers the heaviest rains in its history. Privacy advocates condemn the merger of big tech and government surveillance and call it technofascism. The giant Chinese fast telescope detects more than 900 pulsars. A new 3D map sparks debate about dark energy and causes a stir about the future of the universe. Cosmic rays penetrated in Earth's armor 41,000 years ago. Russia advances space exploration with Rosatom's plasma rocket engine. New methods of searching for extraterrestrial life proposed by scientists. Australia issues Wells' first guidelines to protect oct octopuses from overfishing. Small birds flap their wings as a gesture of courtesy. Maybe they are, they are gentler than us. Scientists explore Antarctica for, for signs of quantum gravity. Inexhaustible source. Geothermal energy is the most respectful of the environment. Seven countries already generate 100% of their electricity from renewable energy. Two of them are European. China led the installation of offshore and onshore wind farms, followed by the US, Brazil and Germany. Thanks to the strong growth in the Netherlands, Europe also has a record year in 2023. Scientists propose drying the stratosphere to cool the weather. The technique called intentional stratospheric dehydration consists of injecting microscopic ice crystals, known as condensation nuclei, into the stratosphere in order to reduce the concentration of water vapor. War rumors. Iran attacked with drones and explosions during the night. Is the escalation beginning? Israel launched a drone attack against Iran at the height of the conflict. The attack against Iran hit near the Isfahan nuclear power plant without damaging it. Israel attacked several sites in Iran and explosions were heard in the cities of Tehran, Isfahan and Shiraz. Explosions were also reported in Syria and Iraq, the media added. Experts warned of the danger of attacking strategic carriers of Iran. Iran has no plans to retaliate immediately for an attack on its soil, Russia. Russia continues its attacks on, in Ukraine and rules out a ceasefire. Russia carried out 34 group attacks against Ukrainian military and energy facilities last week. The West is close to sending soldiers to Ukraine, and this would drag Europe to the bottom, according to Hungary's Prime Minister. The ECB wants that confiscating Russian assets could break the international order. Russia promises to respond reciprocally if its frozen assets are confiscated. The EU increased the purchase of Russian fertilizers to the maximum from December 2022. France overtakes Hungary and becomes the largest importer of Russian gas in February. It's the economy, stupid, Macron tells Zelensky. Russian instructors help train more than 10,000 Central African soldiers. Reactions. Gold and oil rise after the attack on Iran. The IMF expects OPEC to open the oil taps in the summer. The G7 calls on Israel and Iran to avoid escalation. Israel financial rating falls due to the escalation of the war. The G7 accuses Belgium of collecting 1.7 billion euros in taxes of frozen Russian assets. EU sanctions 
extremist Israeli settlers for violence in the West Bank. Economy. The IMF warns that the US deficit puts the world economy at risk. The Wall Street elite goes after European banking. European banks are more attractive than they appears, according to JP Morgan. Luxury items are no sold longer sold online, according to the Financial Times. Wall Street funneled billions of dollars to blacklisted Chinese companies. China stops betting on treasury bonds. All-time high for the yuan in global payments. The participation of the euro in SWIFT transactions reaches an all-time low. China will surpass the G7 as the main engine of global economic growth. The IMF warns about the impact of the conflict in the Middle East on the economy. Kristalina Georgieva calls for an end to the war in Gaza and Ukraine for the good of the world economy. The US benefits from the increase in energy prices unlike Europe, according to Kristalina Georgieva. Spain. The Spanish people are tired of waking 10 hours a day until the age of 65 for 1,200 bucks paying 700 euros in rent, according to the actor and singer El Langi. The EU expects that, that Spain will have to make an adjustment of almost 12 billion in its pension system. Lut warns, Lut warns of the inflation risk of geopolitical tension. The Spanish Data Protection Agency imposes million dollar fines on CaixaBank and Ipetrola. Imports from Egypt threaten Spanish potato producers. A September of, of Pope Francis among Catholics falls according to survey. Americas. Argentina requests to be a global partner of NATO. The US invests $40 million in the defense of Argentina. Argentine unions promote a general strike against Millet. Chile expels 53 Colombian, Ecuadorian, and Bolivian immigrants. Paraguay is open to Russian investors and sees many areas of cooperation, according to its finance minister. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.